Hello YouTube, your usual host Decker49, your loyal, confident in all things video game is here with you. So let's play uh, Deadly Premonition Part 9. You join Francis York Morgan and I at the murder scene of, of Anna Graham, the, the girl who sparked this entire investigation, this entire game. We are by the tree where she was crucified. On the last installment, we interviewed uh, the two orgasm boys, Isaac and uh, Isaiah. And now we are going to process Zach, something is the still evidence. We need Zach, more we need more clues. I've inhaled a cigarette deeply and I still have not solved the crime. Something is wrong. However, I believe it was a great philosopher who once said, if you've got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. So let's do that. Let's solve this problem. Okay. So I've just found two bent pieces of grass. And I don't think the game was suggesting that vegetation has some sort of sexual orientation. I think what they're attempting to suggest is that someone has been in an immediate vicinity of this tree and bent the grass. Now, there's a man. There's a man there with big red eyes. He's attempted to kill me on a number of occasions. He appears to be praying Anna. to Anna. Ow! Ow. Crap jeez. Crap jeez. I hate this. Why did it come to this? Okay, so that is not going to be the murderer. That is going to be uh, a third party, I guess, who is somehow involved in the murder here. And his body was found hanging from this tree. Why did the murderer bother with hanging her from the tree? Well, let's have a look at this other glowing section here where the police line has been uh, betrayed, probably by local youths. There's a, a picture of a vest with holes. I'm thinking of Popeye cartoons. I don't know. I don't know. We've got two out of four pieces of evidence for this different crime scene. Let's try and profile again. So we've got a couple of bent pieces of grass and a man with a gigantic anti-piece swastika on his back. Is a swastika not anti-peace by, by general definition? I don't know. Anna. Anna. Crap. Jeez. Crap. Jeez. Why did it come to this? How I hate this. Why did it come to this? Okay, so what I perceive has happened here is the murderer has killed her and then the girl or the woman has followed up after that. And has lamented the crime scene. Right, I'm going to speak to George. Quite a serious character. He likes to show off and he's too eager to compete. As you I don't have my name printed above needed. the air in my head, but what he you does. You can doing? see he wants to, to win all of the time. Short Shan agrees with me. We might uncover some further evidence. We might uncover some evidence. I, have covered this already. I seriously doubt that there is anything else to find. Well, then you and Emily can wait in the car. Just if there's something to find, just go and fuck off time. in the car. I'll take my time, yo. This is like a woman. A crime scene is like a woman. You take your time on it. You get the job done properly. Alright, I don't want to go to sleep. I want to investigate the crime scene. Okay, so if your men are so thorough, why did they not find the fucking bird's nest emitting incandescent light? Surely that was a <laughs> shot. Was that like, you know, the bird's nest with the fucking rainbow coming out of it? Would that would that not be a thing? Is that a thing? I don't know. Um, I can't seem to access it at all. Uh, this game is like, this game is from like 90s. This game is from the 90s, people. All right. Well, I'm, do you know what I'm trying to I'm, I'm try to shoot it. Shoot the bird's nest out of the tree. Let's see how this works out. Back up a little bit. Back up, back up. Right, I'm going to try and shoot the bird's nest. Terrible, terrible aiming. Oh, pew! Oh! The murderer is obviously some sort of cunning, cunning soul hiding pieces of evidence in bird's nest which emit light. So what do we have here exactly, YouTube? We've got a missing piece of pin hill shoe. So a stiletto hill. Okay. Let's, let's profile it again. So we've got grass... 
anti-peace symbol and a stiletto heel. Not entirely sure what that all means, but we can figure it out. So we've got a man praying to the, the corpse of Anna Graham. Is he the killer? He has to be the killer. Well, who else could he be? Um, and we've got someone who... This... Yeah, crap jeez. Why did it come to this? I hate this. Why did it come to this? So the person in the Stiletto Hill, Mr. Stiletto Hill, obviously had to know that something had gone down to be in the forest at the time the murder had occurred. So we've got a dead person. Hi, Duck. We've got a, a killer and we've also got like some sort of third party. And I'm just going to shoot this second bird's nest that an entire team of sheriff office investigators have missed and pick it up so i've got anna graham i got anna graham yo look laura palmer laura laura palmer anna graham same thing youtube same exact thing and now i can see the sheriff investigators has missed a third incandescent bird nest i like like do, do these guys not have necks are they not able to look above and beyond any sort of fucking upward slant? Any sort of pivot of the eye? Are their eyeballs made out of plaster seam? I don't know. But their loss is my gain, so I'm going to go and get the final piece uh, of evidence here that was sitting in the bird's nest. I'm not suggesting what what pecker is here. Alright, we've got chip with rusted metal dust and this is our final piece of evidence for this crime scene so let's put the profile together the red seed profile and see what it is that this crime scene has told us I haven't seen one of these in a long time yes it's an upside down peace sign that is an assumption that you can make these holes on the ground were made by uh, why are you playing the song here, this is a beautiful life when we examine here, a dead body Agent Morgan I see what happened what happened to him he hung up in a tree and he put on her shoes obviously he's, he's a fucked up sick dude really enjoying it. he was enjoying it he's no. sick sick he knelt down and he knelt down and did what disgusting what did he kneel down and do George, you certainly have a vivid imagination. George, your imagination An is fantastic, like your hat. Don't you think, Zach? Zach, what do you think? I don't know. Well, what was his name again? That Hollywood producer. Michael Bay. That's right. Joel. Joel Schumacher. We really ought to introduce George to him. You would like nipples on leather bat suits, my friend. Profiling is a little different from writing a screenplay, though. An idea being interesting doesn't make it fact. You tell him. Let me enlighten you, George. Enlighten the him. Reveal that Philosophically the edify shoes. his spirit. And they're different from Anna's shoes that we saw at the office. Okay. Furthermore, there would Furthermore. be even more disgusting evidence if he did kneel and... <laughs> Sheriff Truman suggested that he whacked one out. Like, he actually whacked one out while wearing stiletto heels. He knelt here for a reason other than simple perversion. Uh, is that simple perversion? Is that simple exactly. perversion, whacking one out wearing high heels what over the corpse of someone you just killed? <sighs> he looked like he was praying, if you ask me. He looked like he was, he was, he was praying to her. <sighs> Are we going to get crap G's? No, he's praying. He's praying. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Jeez. I hate this. How did it come to this? She's not even talking about Anna. She's talking about her fucking shoes. Yes. York, bring it. That's what I said. Just like the twins said. She okay, dudes, you're, you're, you're a lunatic. You're a fucking lunatic. How do you offer someone like, 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 
was transformed. What, like, what's going on there? From an object of despite into one of worship. An object of despite? So, Perhaps you mean an object of spite into one of worship. That, yeah, the fucking translation team say hi. Farther apart going away. So there she was, was walking away. away then. They're walking away quickly. That settles it then, George. Miss Stiletto Heels is a Miss Stiletto party. Heels. She's not the She's not the murderer, yo. No she just likes shoes. She, you know, shoes cool? A shoes cool? She, she was just in the forest. Person. She was cool. It's fine. Or perhaps an accomplice who fled for some reason. Oh, muddy in the waters there a little bit, York. Muddy in the waters a little bit. She is also one who took whatever it was. Exhale. Whenever you're making a point. Why did she leave her here? Only Miss Stiletto Heels knows the reason for that. Only Miss Stiletto Heels knows. Why do do I do a piece mark upside down? What like what's the purpose, yo? How many women wear high stiletto heels in this town? All of them. Oh, I should think most of them have at least one pair. Exactly. Life's beautiful. I do too, before you killed her. You killed her. All the way out here wearing them, except. Oh, oh, plot point. Plot point. Plot point on the way YouTube. Plot point. Who? Who? Don't keep me in the dark then. Who might this elegant? Who's lady the elegant be? lady? Who's the elegant? Why she got a fucking ashtray in the middle of a forest? The owner of the art gallery. But she's out of town for a big art auction. Oh, that's convenient. Perhaps an art installation that she might consider is a fucking corpse then on we'll a tree. Just have to give her a warm Baby in her style. Home. A more immediate matter then. Where in town can you find something? What like a tree? This? It should be a What's building that, that isn't used anymore. Oh, the with either rust. a lot of metal or metal machinery okay. or something like that. The old lumber mill. The old lumber mill. They got burnt down at the end of season one of Twin it's Peaks. Time to really get this show on the road. Could you guide me to this perfect setting for extravagant? Like what? Like why? What is he on? Is he think, think he's a fucking Shakespeare actor? Like what's with all the adjectives? What's with all the vocabulary? <laughs> What's going on here? There's Isaac and Isaiah, and there is their grandfather playing dodgeball. Or that Kinect game. Is that is that dodgeball? I remember it was called Ball Banger 2000. When it was in its beta phase, which amused me immensely, YouTube. Immensely. There's Isaac and Isaiah, the orgasm twins. Uh, two boys created out of one gene pool I'm not sure what that means I don't know what that means what does that mean Shh. Shh. Deckard 49 the lumber mill is the lumber mill's pretty far that's where we're all looking at the car where she get in the fucking car why would the killer why would the killer bring all the way why would he do that here? Is that really the first question that you have, considering what we've just seen? Instincts tell me one thing is for sure. Dude, I don't. Your profile instincts are crazy. Personality is totally different before and after. Unknown subject. The unsub killed her in a brutal, horrifying way. And this displays what this displays? A powerful, a powerful adoration. adoration. Powerful. Something close to the love. George well cannot contemplate that notion. That could be the key to all of this. I will say this though, George. Profiling is a risky business. In what way, Of course, York? if the unsub planted those stiletto footprints himself... Everything you've said is bullshit! Well, what I've just said falls apart. But there's no evidence that he left those stiletto Not footprints. Not yet! Okay. Justify. do is deduce the unsub's feelings in light of the evidence. This is an unlikely explanation of motive MO. and psychology Modus on behalf of Francis York Morgan. It usually unveils something Stop that looking at me like that. You're breaking the fourth wall. You're not allowed to do this, York. Deal with it. It's not for everyone, but Deal with it. it. Alright, let's go to the lumber mill and find out exactly what happened to Anna Graham. Like, uh, bits of rust, bits of, ru bits of blood, bits of flesh. Shit has gone down. Shit has gone down. Uh, 
Anna Graham, send me a dream. Boom, 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 boom. Make it the sweetest dream that I've ever seen. Boom, boom, boom. When your head got excavated, we got Francis Shock, Morgan made it. I keep telling Harry to have the place torn down. Have the place torn down. Have it torn down. After all, it's already been used. York is sure. York is 100%. don't know that for sure yet, Agent Morgan. That's right. Agent Morgan. But the perpetrator selected the, perpetrator the, selected the younger Mork, milk. Younger you milk? The hunger confident milk. About this. I'm confident, yo. I'm I'm well now. Confident? No. No. Confidence no. is a sweet story between being rude and hopeless. I I'm just drawing natural me. conclusions from the facts that we've seen. That sounds exactly like being full of confidence. Sounds like being full of and no bullshit! To me, common sense can be the opposite of facts sometimes. Better in mind. Better to right. take it. Take, oh, just swallow I that. Will, oh, I will. Thank you for another I will, Agent York. Either way, a little bit of a... Sure little bit of flirtation, nah? Huh? Right, let's... I'm hungry. I'm fucking hungry. My dogs are hungry! Anyone who realized that was a Dark Knight reference gets a, a bonus point. Anyone who knew that the sequence of dialogue just prior to that was. I said my comp plan would take you places. I never said there'd be places you wanted to go. That was the Scarecrow. You get an additional point. And I'm just like, like, just like, look at the worst map in the world. Look at the worst map. In the world! There's all flowers and shit on the map and fishes. There's fishes. You can't zoom out. You can't like just like hard right. Hard right. Seagull riding style. Hard right. No, no. That's not a hard right. That's like the most limp biscuit of rights that has ever Let's been. Go. That's not a bill of rights, yo. You're full of confidence, right? Let's get to the lumber mill. Let's get to the lumber mill. Like they, they all want to, they all want to see him fail. They want to see York fail. So like, let's get to the lumber mill. You, you're chatting shit. You think you got a bit of rust and you to fucking deduce the case? What are you, Sherlock Holmes in this shit? I'm Dalen Cooper. I'm Dalen Cooper. This shit. I'm going in alone. I'm going in alone, brother. You two stay here. Outside. I can't concentrate on in the sunshine. I know now you want it, but you've never We're seen We're investigating no. this case together. Listen, I can't risk the crime you're scene being compromised by you You're gonna fuck it up, guys. You're gonna, you're gonna, like, look at the way you're posing. The only look at the way you're posing! Morgan, we know fuck you! Your crime scene. I'm sorry. That was rude of me. That was rude of me. That's how I but operate. this is how I operate. I don't trust you. Furthermore. Furthermore. Yes. Furthermore, Furthermore I don't what? trust you! To me, the outsider FBI agent. Every, every citizen in this town is a suspect. You two could be in on this whole Yes! Thing. I have to keep suspects out of the crime scene. Keep out of the fucking crime scene, fuckers. How can you say such a You thing? killed her. You killed her. You, Emily. You. Is he making fun of us? Yes! No, well, no. We you left him behind and come here by ourselves. You're making fun of yourself. Right. I've never been so insulted. Yes, you have. Look at your fucking moustache. just doing my job. You've been insulted every fucking day since you were moustache able. Alright. Francis, York, Morgan, and Decker Botty. No! If they are pros. If they're pros, every first person every shooter first game person shoot a gamer. Team. Isn't the American army doing something along those lines? Isn't that exactly what they're doing? Zach, Is they're that here. Zach, they're here! I feel like Solid Snake. Join me for the fucking next part. Yes!